So are we ready? All right, good afternoon. My name is Stacy Bell and I am from Shawnee Heights and I'm honored to welcome all of you to the Region 2 Kansas Teacher of the Year virtual celebration, our very first virtual one. We are here to celebrate the teaching profession and to recognize 39 District Teachers of the Year for Region 2. These teachers are important in the lives of Kansas children in pre-K through 12th grade. They have the opportunity to share their passion each and every day. They expect performance and they receive it. They light fires of curiosity. They ignite love of reading, of serving others, of caring for planet Earth. These teachers are proof that who a teacher is, is much more important than what they teach. This afternoon, we are celebrating excellence in education. Every one of our 39 nominees has unique talents, but here are a few things that they all have in common. The first is that their students, colleagues, and administrators are inspired by their willingness to learn. They fall, do not fall short of kind words to say about each of the nominees, and they are excited to support you in this endeavor. Whether it be through continued coursework or professional development, these nominees continue to learn how to educate and prepare Kansas students for college and career. And that has never been more evident than this last year through a pandemic. They had to learn skills they didn't even know they needed to know, and they have refined skills they were already good at to put forth educational learning experiences for their students in different platforms. It truly has been backbreaking, time consuming, and they give it their effort every single day. A third thing they have in common is whether you're a finalist or not, you are a winner because you come to work every day and focus on being a better teacher today than you were yesterday. The connections you make today with your fellow nominees will inspire you and have lasting effects for you, your colleagues, and your students. The things you'll learn from your fellow nominees will allow you to take those things back to your own classrooms, as well as share your good things with them. All of us watching today are excited to honor you and your accomplishments that you have exhibited in the classroom and your communities. You each represent the great educators we have in Kansas. Because you are a Kansas Teacher of the Year nominee, you will be afforded many opportunities that a lot of educators don't get the opportunity to experience. I encourage you to take advantage of these opportunities for professional learning and networking with other outstanding educators this year. Your first opportunity will come as you are invited to attend the Kansas Teacher of the Year Leadership Conference. It's an outstanding experience where you get to network and learn from others as well as share from your own experiences. It concludes with a state awards banquet where you will be honored again and um, that will happen in Wichita in September 24th through the 26th of 2021. I highly encourage you to invest in yourself, take the time and go experience that. It is well worth your time. Another opportunity that's going to come your way is an invitation to become a member of the Kansas Exemplary Educators Network. Keen is a network of educators of award winners, whether it is Teacher of Promise for student teachers, Horizon Award winners after they've exhibited excellence during their first year of teaching, Milken Award winners, Presidential Math and Science Awards, National Board Certified Teachers, and of course you, Kansas Teacher of the Year nominees. You will also have the opportunity to travel around to other districts to see firsthand how amazing your new friends, classrooms, and school communities truly are, and to showcase your own communities and classrooms. 
Lastly, I encourage you to say yes to opportunities that come your way. During this pandemic, do you know who KSDE leaned on the most? Was the Kansas Teacher of the Years. For many years, they lend, uh, lead by example, and KSDE needed our help, and we delivered for Kansas educators all over the state. So say yes when opportunities come your way. You won't regret it. The Kansas Teacher of the Year program and our virtual celebration are made possible by some generous support of individuals and organizations and businesses. These generous people enable us to continue this recognition of exemplary teaching in Kansas. And now I would like to recognize a number of special guests who have joined in the celebration today. First, our investors and sponsors. We couldn't do this without the help of Security Benefit, which we'll talk a little bit more about in just a few minutes. Master Teacher from Manhattan. Our um, partnership with KNEA, Mark Farr being the president, and then we have some sponsors, Barker Printing and USD 450 Shawnee Heights. Now, you wouldn't be here without your local support of your administrators and school board members. Look at that list of the districts represented um, in Region 2. Every one of these districts sent a nominee, at least one if not two, to um, be honored here today in our celebration. And that list just keeps getting longer and longer and longer in our region. And so we really enjoy celebrating all across the region. Our next people we wanna recognize is our State Board of Education members. They truly do have our Kansas educators and students in mind as they make very important decisions. And it's never been more um, evident than through this pandemic. They've really had to listen to the constituents, listen to students, educators, and legislators and make tough decisions. And so we really appreciate their support. And they come to all these banquets. They really do um, support this program. And so we thank you, State Board of Ed members. Now, even more importantly, are the selection committee. They read through hundreds of pages of nominations as all of these nominees write bios about themselves, about their philosophy. They read recommendation letters by students and parents and colleagues, and they give a lot of extra time volunteering for this selection committee. So you can see the list of names for our elementary. We had Jamie and Lisa and Julie and Paula and Tasha. And secondary, we had Juanita, Katie, Brad, and Luke. So thank you, Selection Committee. And then we will be remiss without recognizing our steering committee. That's a committee that works on putting the invitations together, the programs, sending communications to you, and then putting on the celebration. And so I cannot do it without these lovely ladies to help assist us in this programming. The next big group we want to recognize is our KSDE leadership and staff. Dr. Watson is instrumental in this program. Same way with Denise, Kaler, Tamla Miller. You guys will all be having lots of communication with them as you're awarded these opportunities throughout the years. And then KSDE IT department for helping make this virtual ceremony a success. And lastly, I want to thank Kansas Teacher of the Year and National Teacher of the Year, uh, Tabitha Rosproy. She um, has represented the state of Kansas magnificently. You've probably seen her on local news, state news, and national news all throughout her um, reign as Teacher of the Year. And we really appreciate her leadership. And she is joining us today to help celebrate your success later on in this ceremony. So thank you all very much. It is time for me to introduce security our security benefit representative. Let me talk just a little bit about security benefit first and their contributions to our program. 
Security Benefit is a Topeka-based retirement savings and income company and is the chief corporate partner for the Kansas Teacher of the Year program. Since 2000, the company has made an annual contribution of $28,000 to the program every year, which has totaled more than $500,000 to help our program. Their funds each year are divided up in a couple of different ways. One, they give cash awards of $2,000 to each of the eight finalists, so two of you are going to get a cash award of $2,000. And then an additional $4,000 is going to be given to the teacher that is selected as Kansas Teacher of the Year later on in the Wichita ceremony. In addition to um, supporting cash awards for our winners, they also donate $2,000 to each of the four regions to help underwrite the award celebrations. But they don't just volunteer their money, they volunteer their time. The company employees at Security Benefit are heavily involved in serving in any capacity that we ask. Many of them are on the Kansas Foundation of Excellence and Education's Board of Directors. They serve as a Kansas Teacher of the Year st Steering Committee members, and they're also on the State Selection Committee. So without further ado, it is my honor to introduce Security Benefits, Michael Costino. Michael is a Director of Public Relations and Corporate Communications for Security Benefit. Prior to joining the firm in 2018, Michael held senior marketing and communications positions across retail, intermediary, and institutional markets with ABN, AMRO Bank, Wintrust, Kemper Financial, FlexShares, ETFs, and Kalamas Investments, among others. He holds a BS in journalism from the University of Illinois, an MBA in marketing from Loyola University, and is a licensed securities broker. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Costino. Make sure I'm unmuted here. Can everyone hear me? Cool. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Stacey. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's an honor uh, to be invited again uh, to represent Security Benefit. Uh, I did this a couple of years ago. Uh, I've actually been with the firm for about three years now. Uh, and uh, as Stacey outlined, I, I continue to be inspired by my company's spirit of, of giving uh, and volunteering, and especially our, our commitment to teachers. Uh, we really truly have dedicated a large part of our focus to helping prepare teachers for retirement for, for many decades now. Uh, it's an extension of our original uh, founding legacy of, of helping provide working men and women and their children with financial security. Uh, we were known as the Knights and Ladies of Security uh, back in uh, 1892 and when we started in Topeka. Um, but our mission has, uh, has remained largely the same. Uh, today, we continue with the belief that everyone deserves the opportunity for a secure retirement, and that includes America's educators. Uh, so on behalf of the entire company, I want uh, to offer our sin sincere congratulations to all the uh, Region 2 Kansas Teacher of the Year nominees. Uh, last time I had this opportunity, I shared that my uh, daughter uh, is also a teacher uh, and how uh, her teachers growing up, you know, truly inspired her uh, toward her career in education. Um, I guess there is a saying that teachers don't just impact for a year, uh, but for a lifetime. And, and I think that's, that's very true, uh, especially when looking at my daughter. Um, given uh, this past crazy year with COVID and everything, we, we have certainly all experienced a year of impact. Um, I talked with my daughter recently uh, about some of what she experienced through this as, as a teacher. Um, and she referred to you know, a lot of the challenges that uh, you know, they all had to overcome. Uh, she noted that things seem to just be constantly changing and evolving. Uh, distance learning was tough. It was very difficult. It was trying on her personally, you know, emotionally, on her fellow teachers, uh, the parents, the kids. Um, 
She said there were just so many demands to meet uh, without any extra resources. Uh, she said, you know, we, we just had to figure it out. We taught ourselves how to adapt. Uh, and she said, we came closer together as a team. Um, we just, you know, couldn't just stop. Uh, we had to be there for the kids, even if it was only through a computer screen. Uh, so it was truly a challenging year. Uh, at Security Benefit, we went through our own challenges during COVID, uh, including a rapid adaptation with technology and, and remote working. Uh, but we made it. We made it happen. Uh, in fact, last year was actually one of our most successful years ever. Uh, we now uh, total about 2,000 associates worldwide. And we continue to adapt and evolve as our, continue, uh, as our industry continues to change. Um, and we, uh, we've been an innovator and we continue to, to focus on that. And I think a lot of this can be attributed uh, to those who taught and inspired us. Um, the Kansas Department of Education and the Teacher of the Year program must truly have a rough time uh, because there are just so many incredible candidates. Uh, today's nominees and all of our teachers really represent the very best of the state of Kansas. Um, Security Benefit appreciates the amazing power of teaching. And we're fortunate to have very strong relationships and partnerships with the National Education Association and the KNEA. Uh, so again, uh, I speak for all of my colleagues when I say congratulations and best of luck to the nominees. Thank you for your amazing commitment. You, you truly, truly do make a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Michael, for joining us today. And Michael will be on a little bit later to um, award some money, right? <laughs> so, um, all right, it is now my honor to recognize and introduce Dr. Randy Watson. He was named Kansas Commissioner of Education by the Kansas State Board of Education in November of 2014. He assumed his role in July of 2015. As the state's chief education officer, he provides leadership to the Kansas State Department of Education in carrying out the policies and programs prescribed by the State Board of Education to ensure the necessary oversight and support is provided to assist Kansas schools, educators, and students in achieving their goals. And boy, did we need him this year, his leadership. So thank you, Dr. Watson, for that. Dr. Watson is a recipient of many awards. He was named the Alumni Fellow at Kansas State in 2015. He was honored by being named the Kansas Superintendent of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Randy Watson. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, forget the word nominee. You all are winners. I just want to say how great it was, you know, as we got ready to, to kick off this, uh, this great event today. I was scanning through the Brady, I call it the Brady Bunch Zoom look, right? Where you, know, you look up, you look down, and you look to either side, and oh, I just love to see your smiling faces. Stacy, thank you. And to all the team in Region 2, this is a lot of work to get ready, and we just appreciate all of your work. Because, you know, Region 2 is from our southern border to our northern border uh, and encompasses a lot of territory. So we want to thank you. And Tabitha and I had a great day yesterday together, you know, and we're, we're having a wonderful day today. And I just figured out that, you know, because generally we are traveling the state in order to have these in person, we generally start in region one, then we go to region four, then we go to region two, then we, we end in region three. And we did it again this year, even though we're by Zoom. So see, we just want to let you know that even though it's a Zoom era, we still follow the same uh, protocol. So thank you and congratulations to everyone. I want you to just think that just about a year ago, just about a year ago on a weekend, just like, just like right now, I picked up the phone and as Stacey mentioned earlier, I called several people that are on this Zoom today. And I said, you know, things are changing rapidly in our country. And if we would have to shut schools down, can we grab a, a large group of teachers and start to plan. And we, in, we shut schools down then on that next Monday. And almost 1,000 educators, we also had some help from our medical professionals, 
with, uh, with, with those things related to health. They cranked out a document called Continuous Learning, and we went remote across the entire state in literally 48 hours. Could not have been done without the remarkable educators in our state, hailed across the nation as one of the remarkable plans for remote learning. And certainly that took us through the end of May of 2020. But do you remember back over the over last summer, we were thought it's going to be so good in August, it's going to be so much better. And then it wasn't that darn pandemic, it wasn't better. So then we said, hey, you guys were so good. We, we created a document together called Navigating Next. Oh, and guess what? You, you were so good at that remote. We think that uh, right now you can uh, do twice the lesson plans. How about you teach kids on Zoom in person? Oh, today's an A, no, no, it's a B schedule. No, we had to alter that because we had 48 people in quarantine. In fact, oh my gosh, you had to go in quarantine and then teach from home. It has been crazy, right? And all through that, all through that, you have just done a remarkable job of making sure that your students and your families remained engaged and remained with you. You know, you were asking the right questions. What about our seniors? What about the kids I can't find? So the state board and I want you to know clearly today, we want you to know that we see you and we have seen you from the beginning. You have not done that work without us knowing the strain that is put on all of you. Throughout this pandemic, Kansas education could not have remained going in the way that it, that it, that it has without you. You showed up every single day to give your best. You addressed every single challenge that has been thrown at you, and you never gave up. And you didn't because of that deep commitment every single one of you that we're honoring today has to your students and your family. So this afternoon, we're here because your district also sees you as the best teacher for your district this year. And I know you're thinking, heck, I'm not the best teacher. I'm not even the best teacher in my hallway. Well, get over yourself, because we're here to honor you. And in turn, we honor all of the profession at the same time. So I just want you to know how excited I am to, to be with you today and to introduce to you someone that doesn't need any, any introduction. Tabitha Rossroy, who teaches preschool in Winfield USD 465 in the Winfield Early Learning Center in Winfield, Kansas. That center's housed in the Cumberland Village, which is a local retirement village and nursing home. And if you've ever been to her classroom, it's this wonderful mix of intergenerational talent from the young people in that classroom to the grandparents and great grandparents that just love having those kids uh, with them every day. Her program is all inclusive. It serves at risk, special education, and typically developing pre-K. Community members uh, visit her classroom daily and, uh, and enjoy that interaction. I had the great opportunity to be there several times and I just walk away amazed at just how how wonderful this intergenerational learning works, not only for the kids, which is remarkable, but also for the residents uh, of that facility. Tab is also active on her building leadership team. She is the co-head teacher of the Winfield Early Learning Center. She serves as the co-president of the Winfield NEA Association, and she's very active at our state level with KNEA. Also in her spare time, Tabitha is part of the Cali County Special Services Cooperative Early Childhood Academic Team. And what she has learned that all of us take from her every day, that a classroom first and foremost has to be about love and social emotional learning. You know, it was 1962. 
So most of you are going, that's a long time ago. It's like for old people, right? Like even Randy was, was, was little. That's the last time we had a National Teacher of the Year, 1962. Tabitha Rossbroy blew those doors open. And we've never had a pre-K teacher as National Teacher of the Year until now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my distinct honor to welcome to the stage, to our virtual stage, the Kansas Teacher of the Year, the National Teacher of the Year, the first National Pre-K Teacher of the Year, Tabitha Rossbroy. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. I want Randy to do my every introduction that I have, okay? That is what I figured out. You're hitting the road with me, Dr. Watson, from now on. <laughs> Well, hello, educators and friends. I am really excited to be here with you today. I know that you all wish we could be together in person. I wish that too. But I want you to know this is a huge deal that you are here today. Even though we're doing it virtually, it is a big deal. So I hope that you're finding ways to celebrate with your family or your friends, even though they maybe can't all squish into the Zoom screen with you. Um, I hope that you're feeling the love and the support coming from us and from your communities. You know, I just want to say we have made it. We have made it a full year in one of the most challenging times in our world's history and in our nation's history. You all have had to change so much. You've had to worry so much and you've had to be more adaptive and flexible than ever expected, kind of like we're doing right now. But your unwavering dedication has not gone unnoticed. I am so proud to be a Kansas educator, and I'm proud because I get to do this work alongside of all of you. You know, I remember this time a year or so ago when I was on my way up to the Region 4 banquet. Um, I remember the nerves, the excitement, the terror <laughs> that I was feeling in those moments. But what I didn't know then was that no matter the outcome of that day, I was going to be a part of something so special and so unique and so wonderful that it would shape my life forever. So no matter the names that we call as finalists today, every single educator here is about to enter into a lifetime of friendship and shared joy with teachers across our state. And Kansas is really unique in this. When I go to National Teacher of the Year events, whether virtual or in person, people want to hear about what we do in Kansas. They want to hear about our cohorts and the traveling we do together and the opportunities that we get. And now that I know people from all over the country, it is so easy to see that the Kansas Teacher of the Year program is of the highest caliber in our entire nation. So I encourage you to take part in the Fall Leadership Conference, like Stacy was saying before, and every event that you can. You have this incredible opportunity to connect with the greatness of other teachers in our state, and this opportunity to share what's amazing about your home district and your classroom too. And when I think about this last year, our word on our leadership team has been connect. We focused on it the last year and a half that we've been doing this job. And the patron Saint Brene Brown says, connection is why we're here. It's what gives purpose and meaning to our lives. And she is so right, and that's evident through this program. After this year, I think we're all feeling the need for that connection even more. So I hope that you don't take a single opportunity for that connection for granted. So on behalf of myself, on behalf of the Region 2 finalists, Julie Levenstein and Laura McDonald, and the rest of our team, we congratulate you on this honor and we welcome all of you to the K-Toy family. We're sort of letting go of a title today, but we are gaining so much more. We can't wait to connect with you for years to come. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tabitha. Well, here comes the exciting part of our ceremony where we get to learn about each of you. Now, if we were in person, you would be um, introduced and you'd be standing on the stage next to Dr. Watson and, and Michael, and you would walk across the stage and get your picture taken, and we would be giving you a gift 
So I wanted to show it to you right now. It is a crystal cube and it will have your USD and it will number and it'll say teacher of the year. And in a different version it, um, view, it will say Kansas teacher of the year and another one, it will have your name. Each one of these cubes will be delivered to you within the next two weeks. In addition, KSDE will be mailing you a certificate um, that um, just, again, celebrates you in this day and helps you just to remember the significance of your contributions in education. If you're chosen as a semifinalist later on, you'll be also receiving a um, apple and a base to set that apple on for your office. So again, thank you all so much. And it is now my honor to um, learn about all of you. Our elementary teacher of the year nominees will be introduced by Christy Bruce, one of our committee members who was the 2017 district teacher of the year from USD 437 Auburn Washburn and Heather Newkirk, a 2018 district teacher of the year from USD 461 Neodice. All right, ladies, Christy, let's introduce our elementary nominees. Great. Representing USD 365, Marty Alley. Marty Alley has spent the last two of his 34 year teaching career at Greeley Elementary as the preschool through sixth grade PE teacher. Marty also teaches PE at Anderson County Junior Senior High School in Garnett. High school peer Dennis Richards noted, it is an exceptional teacher who can have the respect of students from elementary through the high school level. After being at the secondary level for all of his teaching career, he was thrown into a learning environment where his students cried, did not know the rules of simple games, and for some, taking turns and sharing was unheard of. He took it on full steam ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, Marty Alley. Representing USD 345, Kristen Anderson. Kristen Anderson is in her third year as a fifth grade teacher at North Fairview Elementary in Topeka. She has taught at the elementary level for 18 years. According to her school counselor, Kristen creates a classroom that works more like a family unit than a traditional classroom. Her ability to nurture her students allows them to discover their individual strengths and build on them. A colleague had this to say about Kristen. She treats these children not only as students, but also as wonderful human beings. She knows each one has a beautiful story to be shared through their unique talents and characteristics. Ladies and gentlemen, Kristen Anderson. Representing USD 342, Kristen Bry. Kristen Bry has taught first grade for five years at McLeod Elementary. Learning more about teaching her first graders to read is one of many priorities for Kristen. Her colleague explained that desire to learn as much as possible in this way. She is always endeavoring to learn more, research more, and evolve her practice with innovation, knowledge, and collaboration. Kristen's colleague expressed that Kristen understands the importance of offering a structured learning environment and balances that with kindness, humor, and compassion that endear her to her students. Ladies and gentlemen, Kristen Bry. Representing USD 501, Keisha Cross. Keisha Cross has taught for five years as an early childhood special education teacher at Ross Elementary in Topeka. According to Reverend John R. Williams, Vice President of the 501 Board of Education, teaching is not what she does, but teaching is who she is. It is her life's passion and purpose. A parent explained, she has the wonderful ability to play into the silliness of preschoolers, but get them to follow her as well. She has vast knowledge on what the kids should know, how to teach them in varied and interesting ways, and how to gauge where they all are through play. She deserves all the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, Keisha Cross. Representing USD 450, Katie Dinkle. Katie Dinkle has been teaching the last four of her six years as a first grade teacher at Tecumseh North Elementary. 
Katie works hard at building relationships with her students and their families. A colleague and parent of one of her students shared, even when students are at their most challenging, Katie always manages to make them feel safe, loved, and respected. She intentionally shatters any negative labels and instead focuses on equipping each student with the skills they need to be successful both inside and outside of her classroom. Ladies and gentlemen, Katie Dinkle. Representing USD 458, Cynthia Fletcher. Cynthia Fletcher has spent the last 12 years of her 24 years in education as a first grade teacher at Vassar Elementary School. Cynthia's first graders know that she knows that she, or know that she cares about them. A parent shared, she makes a point to allow students to share in decisions and believes in their capacity to lead. She sees their individual potential and helps them believe in themselves. My son knows how important he is to Mrs. Fletcher. Principal Tiffany Lynch noticed the following themes emerge when someone thinks of Cynthia, passion for learning, enthusiasm and drive, innovative ideas and service and leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, Cynthia Fletcher. Representing USD 497, Amanda Lovett. Amanda Lovett is in her second year of teaching fourth grade at Schwegler Elementary in Lawrence. She has a total of 15 years of teaching experience. Amanda understands the importance of putting social emotional needs first. A parent described Amanda in this way, by taking the time to build their relationship and seeing my daughter as a human first, student second, and a person with a disability, a distant third, she allowed her to grow in amazing new ways. One of Amanda's colleagues explained how she demonstrates every quality of a highly effective master teacher. She is personable, caring, positive, organized, focused, and professional. Ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Lovett. Representing USD 321, Wendy Madeer. Wendy Madeer is in her seventh year of teaching second grade at Rossville Elementary. The level of commitment and kindness that Wendy displays is noticed by her students and the community. A parent shared, she teaches with whiteboards, books, photos, her hands, and my favorite, her stories. She will share a personal yet relatable story that is sure to make the kids giggle. Principal Travis Van Vleck summed up Wendy's character in this way. Along with determination, Wendy is one of the most courteous people I have ever been around. She is constantly thinking about others and how she can help them out. Ladies and gentlemen, Wendy Madeer. Representing USD 469, Janet Moorhead. Jer Janet Moorhead is in her 27th year of teaching. She has taught kindergarten for 14 years at Lansing Elementary School. Janet has a passion for social emotional learning and building lifelong connections with her students. She has touched and inspired many students throughout her career. A parent shared these thoughts. Janet's rapport with her students and their families is one that you can simply not put into words. She truly makes sure that all of her children feel loved when they enter the classroom all throughout the day and as they are leaving each afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, Janet Moorhead. Representing USD 290, Megan O'Neill. Megan O'Neill has been a fourth grade teacher at Lincoln Elementary in Ottawa for five of her eight years in education. Megan says, I want all of my kids to grow into thoughtful adults who are capable of thinking critically about information and are problem solvers who will be the change in our world. A former student says, she takes time and effort to learn and understand each and every student and what makes them tick. That's not just a good teacher, that's a good person. Mrs. O'Neill has been someone I have looked up to greatly in my life and she's pushed me to be better. Ladies and gentlemen, Megan O'Neill. Representing USD 461, Tiffany Pyatt. 
Tiffany Pyatt has spent the last three of 11 years teaching pre-K at Heller Elementary in Neotache. Tiffany believes in the simple act of taking time to notice and interact with those around us each day. She says, when the most important asset to our future is asking for our time, we just have to notice their plea. Principal Melissa Johnson states, she is a visionary. While many teachers struggle with change, Mrs. Pyatt welcomes it. A student summed up Mrs. Pyatt by saying, she's the best teacher I ever met. I love her so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Tiffany Pyatt. Representing USD 491, Elizabeth Schmidt. Elizabeth Schmidt has spent the last three years as a second grade teacher at Eudora Elementary School in Eudora. She has 23 years of classroom experience. Elizabeth believes you can choose to be the teacher who finds the positive, has a passion, tackles struggles, is eager to grow, and is present daily. Assistant Principal Seth Heidi says, her toolbox is very full, but she never stops being a learner herself. A parent of one of her former students says, I saw my five-year-old take on challenges and meet expectations that I did not think were possible at that age. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Schmidt. Representing USD 367, Sandy Shippey. Sandy Shippey has been a second grade teacher at Trojan Elementary School in Osawatomie for three years. She has 24 years of classroom experience. She begins her class each morning by greeting her students at the door with a smile and teaching them to greet each other with compliments and kindness. Principal Julie Samuels says, she creates an environment in which students feel safe and are willing to take risks with their learning. Ms. Shippey has the ability to see the best in students even when they cannot see the best in themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, Sandy Shippey. Representing USD 484, Stacy Siegel. Stacy Siegel has spent the last year of her 20 year career teaching sixth grade at Lincoln Elementary in Fredonia. Stacy feels that if we open the door to the benefits of writing as a way to make sense of the world, students will be empowered to take control of their own writing and become literate members of society. Superintendent Brian Smith says, Stacy can motivate and encourage students to believe in themselves when others couldn't. She truly believes that literacy is power. Ladies and gentlemen, Stacy Siegel. Representing USD 413, Shannon Somers. Shannon Somers has been the district library media specialist for the past three years of her 23 year career. Shannon feels creating passionate lifelong readers is not accomplished by placing students in reading level categories for books. Real readers are born when a love of literature is shared with them. A parent says, my daughter gained so much confidence and still seeks Mrs. Somers out for the best books. Shannon believes books have the power to transcend time and place. A library media specialist has the power to unleash that for every child in a school. Ladies and gentlemen, Shannon Somers. Representing USD 453, Kelsey Stymates. Kelsey Stymates is in her fifth year teaching kindergarten at Earl Lawson Elementary in Leavenworth. Kelsey loves to allow her students to have choice and to take ownership of their learning. She recently adopted a new play-based instructional style in her classroom. Steph Principal Stephanie Bourne says, many of our kindergarten families were amazed at how much their kids were learning through play-based practices and felt like their kindergarten experience was much better than their older siblings that had more traditional kindergarten classrooms. Kelsey believes, change is scary and it's hard, but I promise that it is worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelsey Stymates. Representing USD 348, Ashley Troth. 
Ashley Troth has spent the past five years of her 10 year teaching career, teaching first grade at Baldwin Elementary Primary Center. Ashley focuses on building positive relationships with her students. She believes students work harder, give their best effort and learn more when they know their teacher cares. A parent says, I have never observed an educator exhibit as much passion and love for her craft as Mrs. Troth. She truly has a fire for her calling as a teacher and it shows every day with every child. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Troth. Representing USD 289, Ann Unruh. Ann Unruh is in her first year teaching preschool at Wellsville Elementary. Ann has been teaching for 20 years. Ann believes, teaching chose me and it has all of me. I've been committed since day one to ensure every child is given a safe and welcoming environment where they can grow and learn. A colleague says, Ann is always ready to go with a smile and a hug and can find multiple positive attributes in every student that she works with. She teaches her students to be proud of themselves and greatly invests in their self-confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, Ann Unruh. Representing USD 250, Bridget Walker. Bridget Walker has spent the last two years of her 11 year career teaching fifth grade at Lakeside Elementary in Pittsburgh. Bridget believes teachers should allow themselves to deviate from the curriculum when a teachable moment arises that develops empathy, respect, and embraces differences. Principal Rhonda White says, she dedicates herself to knowing her students, their interests, abilities, and backgrounds so that she can better design lessons to meet their needs. Her enthusiasm is unwavering even in times of challenge. She sees an opportunity and not a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, Bridget Walker. Representing USD 437, Sarah Wells. Sarah Wells has spent the last 14 years of her 15 year career teaching first grade at Pauline Central Primary in Topeka. Sarah says that she has learned about the importance of changing to the new view of seeing each student with empathy, understanding where they are coming from, and working on building a relationship with that student. A colleague says, I can tell you from experience, Sarah has a strength when it comes to building relationships with colleagues, students, and parents. She has mastered the philosophy of building relationships to achieve a greater success in her career and classroom. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Wells. And now to introduce our secondary nominees, Merritt Schrader and Sharon Kashinsky. Representing USD 501, Eric Bradshaw. Eric Bradshaw has spent the last four of his total of 23 years in education teaching band at Topeka High School and USD 501. Eric's dedication to music education has been well recognized by his colleagues and students. Mr. Chris Reynolds, the consulting teacher of fine arts in Topeka 501 states, Eric's dedication to Topeka Public Schools reaches beyond the halls of Topeka High School. A former student praises Eric by saying, not only is he an amazing teacher who works more than his fair share, he is also a great role model and extremely supportive of all of his students. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Bradshaw. Representing USD 409, Carlton Crum. Carlton Crum started his teaching career in 2005 at Atchison Middle School and has been there ever since. He teaches sixth through eighth grade communications as well as theater and forensics for Atchison High School. A former student reflected, Crum is the definition of a professional teacher, yet his honesty and his character are such that a student can forget that they are in a school building talking to an educator and can instead have a relaxed conversation about what 
matters most to them, whatever is on their mind with a true mentor. Carleton's commitment to student success is also recognized by his colleagues as his activities director stated, I have worked with very few people that are as driven as Carleton when it comes to finding ways to help students become successful. Ladies and gentlemen, Carleton Crumb. Representing USD 207, Nicole Elder. Nicole Elder is a ninth grade biology teacher at Patton Junior High in Fort Leavenworth, where she has spent the last four of her 21 years of teaching. Nicole works hard at creating meaningful lessons for all of her students. Her curriculum instructional specialist states, the instruction that Mrs. Elder's biology class is interactive and meaningful, providing students multiple opportunities to experience the content. Nicole also recognizes that it's not all about the content as it is evident that building positive relationships with her students is a priority. She takes the time to know each individual student, their preferred learning style, interests, and what motivates them. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicole Elder. Representing USD 497, Sherry Flakus. Sherry Flakus has spent the last six of her 24 years teaching AVID at Billy Mills Middle School in Lawrence. One colleague recognizes Sherry as a great mentor stating, going the extra mile for her peers and students is second nature to her. And I have often looked up for her for advice and mentorship. One does not have to be around Sherry Long to realize the high caliber of her work, her love for her students and colleagues, and her commitment to the teaching profession. Her students respect her by saying, Mrs. Flakus is one of the best teachers we have ever had. She knows how to push us, whereas most teachers don't. Ladies and gentlemen, Sherry Flakus. Representing USD 413, Dustin Fox. Dustin Fox has been teaching English and journalism at Chanute High School his entire 12 year teaching career. Dustin's students fondly remember him for his positive energy as one graduate said, on my first day of school, I mistakenly walked sluggishly into the room first hour only to get hit by a bolt of energy that is Mr. Fox. I figured this excitement was simply because it was the first week of school, but months went by and nothing changed. Mr. Fox's energy radiated outward, bringing on, out the positivity in others, which then dominoed into more positivity. Ladies and gentlemen, Dustin Fox. Representing USD 437, Winston Heilman. Winston Heilman teaches eighth grade social studies at Washburn Roll Middle School. He has held that teaching position for five of his seven years in education. Kristen Barkmeyer, a colleague of Winston, states that he is a true innovator and is never afraid to try new things. There is no ego when it comes to Winston, and it is easy to see why his students love him. Winston is active and recognized inside and outside of the classroom as he also coaches and can be found as a spectator at student sports as his assistant principal states. He frequently attends other school activities demonstrating support for all students. Ladies and gentlemen, Winston Heilman. Representing USD 290, Lori Hauer. Lori Hauer has served as the technology integration coach at Ottawa High School for the past six years. Lori supports her colleagues by continually looking for ways to help teachers increase and properly integrate technology into their lessons. Lori's principal, Kelly Whitaker states, her ability to transfer her knowledge and passion for learning is what has propelled OHS to new heights surrounding our Gemini One school redesign. She also highlights that teachers feel welcome coming to Lori for assistance when designing new lessons, and she is respectful to all staff and students at OHS. Ladies and gentlemen, Lori Hauer. Representing USD 368, Kirby Kenny. 
Kirby Kenny teaches Spanish at Paola High School. She has spent the last three of her seven total years in teaching there. Kirby's principal, Jeff Hines, states, Mrs. Kenny is a dynamic teacher that has the ability to transform the lives of individual students and lead them to success that they never dreamed were possible. A former student reflected upon her experience in Mrs. Kenny's room. I always felt important in her class. And when I was struggling with anything, academics or personal life, she was there to listen. I have always thought that good teachers can make a monumental difference in terms of student motivation and interest in a subject. And Mrs. Kenny is an excellent example of this. Ladies and gentlemen, Kirby Kenny. Representing USD 345, Lisa Martinez. Lisa Martinez has spent her entire 15 year teaching career at Seaman High School in Topeka. The Seaman Director of Secondary Education states, I am in awe of Lisa's energy outside and inside of her classroom. She provides an engaging classroom experience that inspires students to continue to pursue their second language development beyond the classroom and school. A former student recalls, in addition to her engaging Spanish classes, her contributions to her students and the Seaman High School community outside of the classroom have impressed me and countless other, others who have had the privilege of interacting with her. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Martinez. Representing USD 348, Kirsten Olson. Kirsten Olson has spent the past three of her 10 teaching years as an eighth grade English language arts and Spanish instructor at Baldwin Junior High. Kirsten encourages honesty and humility in her students as caring individuals. A colleague states, Mrs. Olson focuses not only on helping students create pathways for themselves and their futures through reading and writing, but it is also very attentive to their personal and individual needs. Principal Derek Bland says, she sees the journey middle school students must endure and strives to engage them in multiple ways so that she can earn their trust and help them push through their fears. A former eighth grade student agrees, saying her integrity and hard work as a teacher has helped remind me that we can keep doing great things even when we must do them differently. Ladies and gentlemen, Kirsten Olson. Representing USD 365, Janelle Phelps. Janelle Phelps has spent the past 10 of her 22 years as a seventh grade math and pre-algebra instructor at Anderson County Junior Senior High School. Janelle provides a challenging, inclusive, and supportive environment in her mathematics classroom. Principal Matthew Self says, she goes out of her way to be available to all students offering encouragement, explanations, and simply her time, all the while relationship building. A colleague states, her knowledge, dedication, and compassion are greatly appreciated by those seeking her assistance. And a former student agrees, saying, Mrs. Phelps helped me develop into the strong, independent woman I am today. She has always been welcoming to help students of any kind and age. Ladies and gentlemen, Janelle Phelps. Representing USD 449, Samuel Preston. Samuel Preston has spent the past seven years as a science instructor for ninth through 12th grade students at Pleasant Ridge High School. Sam encourages student curiosity while providing relevance and reflection in the classroom. Principal Lacey Warren states, Mr. Preston continually seeks ways to enrich our students more, including researching and implementing programs that will help create lifelong learners. A former student states, he understands that every student has different needs, which he acknowledges and supports, and he works extremely hard to provide his students with the best learning environment. A colleague sums up his impact saying, students and peers respect Sam Preston for his generous spirit and uncompromising dedication to his craft. He embodies what it means to be an educator in the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, Samuel Preston. Representing USD 456, Danny Rice. 
Danny Rice has spent the past 22 of his 29 years as an educator, as a ninth through as a ninth through 12th grade agriculture education teacher at Meredith Sane Valley High. Danny focuses on making an impact, not just impression, through his realistic and engaging lessons. A former student says he always had a positive attitude and eagerness to see students succeed, not only in the FFA program and his classroom, but in life. Superintendent Joe Sample states, whether it was the high quality education they received through his agricultural programs or simply the leadership and guidance he provided that student, Mr. Rice makes an incredible impact on our students. A colleague enthusiastically concurs, saying, if you are seeking an educator who has dedicated their entire career to growing others, you have found that professional in Mr. Danny Rice. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Rice. Representing USD 453, Mary Schwartz. Mary Schwartz has spent her eight years as an educator teaching 10th grade language arts at Leavenworth High School. Mary emphasizes high expectations, reflection and personal responsibility in her lessons and beyond. Principal Christy Jones says, she is a creative and encouraging classroom teacher, a fantastically motivating and loving after school leader and incredibly impactful in our school faculty fabric. A parent of two former students states, many teachers strive for excellence in the classroom. And then there are teachers who go beyond the subject and teach life skills as well. They impart compassion, integrity, and a sense of responsibility to self and others. A student agrees saying, Ms. Schwartz truly is an inspiration and incredible example of what a teacher should strive to be and what a dedicated teacher can accomplish for her students. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Schwartz. Representing USD 288, Michelle Smith. Michelle Smith has spent the past two of her nine years in education teaching seventh and eighth grade English language arts at Central Heights Secondary School. Michelle believes in providing real life experiences to help students develop empathy and personal growth. Principal Mike Luke Mathiel states, she is that rare educator that looks at students and sees their potential, not their limitations, then gives everything she has to help them achieve it. A parent thanks her for her impact on her son, saying he has learned many things educationally, socially, and emotionally from Mrs. Smith that he would not have from any other teacher. As to her impact, a colleague concludes, she has dedicated her life to being an educator, but she is more than that. She is a role model, a confidant, a friend, and a cheerleader for success. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Smith. Representing USD 491, Mary Jo Swan. Mary Jo Swan has spent four of her six years as an educator teaching mathematics and CTE teaching pathways for 10th through 12th grade students at Eudora High School. Mary Jo believes in teaching life lessons with engaging content and encouragement. A former student says she comes to school every day with a positive attitude and new ways to bring happiness to students, which sets a great tone for learning. A parent states, Mrs. Swan is passionate and caring with her students, which motivates them to give their fullest effort and brings out the best in them. Assistant Principal Joe Zlotnick agrees, saying, one of my favorite aspects of Mrs. Swan's class is that she begins with a thought for the day, which is always focused on positivity and making our school and the world a better place. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Jo Swan. Representing USD 337, Stephanie Switzky. Stephanie Switzky has spent nine years as an educator teaching ninth through 12th grade English classes at Royal Valley High School. Stephanie helps her students set goals to achieve their dreams and give meaning to what they do. Principal Joel Hertzett says, Stephanie goes out of her way to establish strong, lasting relationships with her students. She cares about them first as people, then as students. A colleague observes, when students are struggling in her class, she doesn't give up on them. Instead, she writes them positive words of encouragement and offers help when needed. 
a student of firm stating, I especially noticed her ability to connect with students who may have been overlooked by their peers and other teachers. Because of these interactions, Mrs. Zwitsky made me feel known, encouraged, and motivated to do well. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephanie Zwitsky. Representing USD 458, Erin Tegtmeyer. Erin Tegtmeyer has spent 12 of her 15 years in education as a seventh and eighth grade reading teacher at Baser Linwood Middle School. Erin helps her students develop life skills such as resiliency, grit, and motivation. Principal Amy Garber states, Erin encourages students to not only see the positives in themselves and others, but to be the positive in our school community. She is a great role model for all students in this area. A colleague says, Erin is exactly the type of person you hope your son or daughter gets as a teacher, and a parent resoundingly agrees, saying, Erin finds the sweet spot between high standards and personal relationships. This is the mark of a truly great educator. I consider myself blessed to have her as a colleague and a teacher of my children. Ladies and gentlemen, Erin Tegtmeyer. Representing USD 461, Betty Wheeler. Betty Wheeler has spent 15 of 24 years as a ninth through 12th grade business and information technology teacher at Neodosha High School. She believes in honesty, challenging your students and providing realistic scenarios for student growth. A colleague states, she is the first to tell her students, well, let's try it, and is their champion whether they succeed or fail. Principal Nathan West states, Betty is enthusiastic, creative and flexible within her classroom and every decision she makes is in the best interest of her students. A former student who has benefited from her advice says, throughout her lectures, she was the best at holding each student accountable for being a young business professional, which includes being confident but respectful, providing consistent results and operating with the utmost integrity. Ladies and gentlemen, Betty Wheeler. Congratulations again to all of our 39 nominees. You definitely have inspired all of us in the classroom and your work in your local communities, so thank you. At this time, I would like all Zoom participants, if you are not a nominee, to turn off your video. And I'm going to ask that Tabitha Rossbury and Dr. Watson announce our semifinalists. They will announce three elementary semifinalists. Then they will announce three secondary semifinalists. After that, um, Dr. Watson and Tabitha will announce a finalist for elementary, and that person will give a, a brief remark, brief remarks, and then they will announce the secondary one. So without further ado, Tabitha and Dr. Watson. We've been waiting for this. Oh, wow. wow. Are we excited? <laughs> Are we excited? And look, we have the envelope because Tabitha and I, we don't know. We don't know if we're going to open it up. And uh, because Tabitha, you know, is our pre-K rock star extraordinaire, uh, we're gonna we're gonna let her do uh, two of the three uh, uh, elementary finalists. So Tabitha, everyone's waiting. You, you get us going. I could hold out and talk really <laughs> slowly. Okay, I'll get to it. I am so excited to announce the first Region Two elementary semifinalist for 2022 Kansas Teacher of the Year, Katie Dinkle from Shawnee Heights. <laughs> Let's hear it for Katie. Congratulations, Katie. Way to go. Way to go. Oh, we have our second semifinalist, Tabitha. Mm -hmm. Megan O'Neill from Ottawa, USD 290. All right, Megan. Awesome. And our third semifinalist is Bridget Walker from Pittsburgh. Oh, what a great slate of elementary semifinalists we have, uh, Tabitha. Wow. Wow. Amazing. That was exciting. Okay. 
All right, now we're going to go to the secondary semifinalists. Tabitha, these are the teachers I always wanted to be, always <laughs> aspired to be, but uh, fell a little short. So I, I'm going to announce the first semifinalist, Region 2, Sherry Flakus from Lawrence USD 497. All right, Sherry, congrats. <laughs> And the second semifinalist is Lisa Helen Martinez from Seaman. Wow. Oh my gosh, it just keeps getting better. The last <laughs> semifinalist is Betty Wheeler from Neo to Shea, USD 461. Way to go, Betty. All right. Congratulations to all of the semifinalists. And now. Randy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Are yes. we here now? Are yes. you ready? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I'm ripping open the envelope. I know you are too, Tabitha. You take the lead. You're going to announce the elementary finals. Okay. If I could get a drum roll, I won't be able to hear it, but I will be able to appreciate it. Our Region 2 Elementary Finalist for Kansas Teacher of the Year is Megan O'Neill from Ottawa. Congratulations! Way to go! Megan, way to go! Wow! And now, Megan, you get to give some words of wisdom. We're, we're ready. It's all yours. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> um, I am beyond um, blessed and humbled to actually um, get to speak to you right now. So my superintendent asked me uh, what I was going to say after I had a speech prepared and I told him absolutely not, I was going to wing it. And I have been so stressed over the last couple of days trying to come up with something just in case. Well, this morning I was listening to my Apple Music and wouldn't you know that an ACDC song came on um, and um, it was Who Made Who? And right behind me, I'm sitting in the high school in our district, and there's a sign that says ACDC. So I kind of took that as like a sign for me. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you what those thoughts were going in my head when I heard that. So who made who? It really made me think. And ACDC, like, please don't um, come back to me on this video if I'm really <laughs> misinterpreting words. But I'm going to tell you what they meant to me. They meant to me that I can't do this alone, that as teachers, we are stronger together. We need our co-teachers, we need our superintendents, we need our central office, our board of education, our admin staff, we need our family and our friends. And um, most of all, we need our students and their parents. And really, really, I couldn't have done it without, without everyone in my life. Um, and I, I do want to say something. Um, there was a quote from a, a former student of mine um, and I text messaged her this morning how excited I was. Um, that she wrote me that letter of recommendation and it was truly amazing to hear her words today that i really feel like my students there's a reason that um, i'm successful i have learned so much from each and every single one of them um, and just i'm utterly humbled utterly grateful that i can represent um, my district um, and my school so thank you very much i am super excited um, i cannot wait to um to walk into the other room um, and and be welcomed back um, into um, a large group of, of friends and co-teachers and workers um, who are celebrating me. Um, and just thank you so much. Wow, congratulations, Megan. And I, I don't know, Tabitha, this may, this may be our first ACDC groupie that we have, you know, I as a Kansas did. Teacher of the Year finalist. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really cool. We're so, we're so humbled to, to have you as a Kansas Teacher of the Year uh, finalist, Megan, and congratulations to you all the great teaching staff in Ottawa, and I know all your colleagues are, are so proud of you and the way that you're representing Ottawa. Hey, hey, Tabitha, we've got the secondary finalists coming up. We do? Region two. Yes, yes, yes. Someone's going to join Megan here as a finalist, and it is the Region 2 secondary finalist, Lisa Martinez from Seaman USD 345. Lisa! Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're so excited for you, Lisa. And now you get to you get to share with everyone uh, some of some of your thoughts. Congratulations, Lisa. 
Thank you. Um, I'm so surprised. Okay. Um, good afternoon, everybody. I wanted to start um, by thanking <laughs> my family screaming in the other room. Sorry. <laughs> um, to by by thanking um, all of the hardworking educators in my program. I um, and in this program um, and everybody that's just here today. Um, I. I definitely couldn't do um, even what I've got done this far without you guys. Um, so specifically, my, my students um, for lighting a fire within me that makes me want to be better and um, keeps giving me that, um, you know, that encouragement um, and keeps uh, giving me those questions to answer just to make everything better. Um, my lunch bunch, past and present, um, for your ideas, your active listening, your validating glances, honest opinions. Um, there's just no way that I am who I am without you guys. Um, my husband and our three crazies um, for listening to my constant stream of consciousness about school. And um, finally, but my parents were backing me up 100% when I called them from college and said I didn't want to be an orthodontist anymore. Um, I think saying that I will just be a teacher um, was a one time thing because after becoming a teacher, um, education enveloped me into an existence that I didn't know that I was capable of. Um, I was recently asked by someone who I greatly respect, what is your greatest strength? And I responded by saying, I, you know, I seek and I apply continuous improvement in my skill set relationships, curriculum, and program. Um, and that is something that really keeps me going. Um, SHS North Topeka, it's an 81% Caucasian school. And my deep commitment to teaching intercultural competence and developing intersectional perspectives. Uh, helps negate sometimes um, the prevalent negative views of the growing BIPOC population. Um, and in public education today, it is imperative to promote positive culture and climate within our schools while empowering our minority students to use their voices. And by changing cultural norms so that diversity becomes a strength, um, a, a school can really get 100% behind all its students. And, and I just wanted to call on all of you guys out there um, who are elite el educators with me um, to do the same thing in your buildings as well. Um, just to close, uh, an, an, outstanding, an outstanding teacher diligently crafts, remodels, and sometimes bids adios to cornerstone, cornerstone structures and even names, opting to start fresh and start a new chapter because we know a better experience exists. I will never reach perfection and despite growing pains will achieve multitudes of rewarding takeaways for both my students and myself uh, to reveal an exciting future that I will one day reflect upon with satisfaction and pride. So thank you guys so much again. I'm super pumped to represent you guys. Lisa, oh, we're pumped. I, I know Tabitha and I are, and I don't know Tabitha. You know, I, I think the, the the Kansas Geological Society just noticed, just gave us a notice that it, there was an earthquake. I don't think there was, Tabitha. It was just all that applause coming from Megan and Lisa, our Teachers of the Year finalists. So congratulations. We're so proud of you. Yes. Thanks, yeah. thanks to everyone in, in, in Region 2, and Stacy, we'll turn it back over to you. Thank you all again and congratulations to all of our semi-finalists finalists, and every one of you 39 Kansas Teacher of the Year uh, district nominees. That is so amazing. Thank you so much. As I sat in that chair before, um, one, of my, one of my family members said, this is really like winning a big award, you know, like the award shows on TV. I can't say their name, you know, it's copyrighted these days, but it's like amazing. And um, I, I said, you're right, because we just don't, as educators, get the recognition, and this program helps to do that. And so thank you all so much. 
if you were a, a semi-finalist or finalist, if you would stay on the Zoom for just a minute after this so that we can give you some final directions. But we want to thank all of you for joining us today at the, um, the banquet, and we encourage you all to watch the September 25th State Awards Banquet, where we announce the Kansas Teacher of the Year. Thank you all so much again for joining us, and we hope you have a very blessed Sunday. Goodbye.